The story starts with Sobia. She is mourning the death of her beloved mother. When her Kala comes and tries to console Zobia, she told her mother's sudden death is by her father. When Zobia needed to visit a friend's house to borrow important lecture notes, she insisted her mother to accompany her, despite her father forbidding her mother to leave the house alone. When father found his wife disobeyed him, he slapped her so hard she fell and ended up hitting the corner of bed, dying on the spot. Zobia secretly hated her father and wanted to flee from the house, but she couldn't as she is totally dependent on father. She has close bond with her brother, but still she misses her mother the most. To divert her attention, she spends her most of time in college. Her friends asked her to take part in upcoming talent show, though she wanted to but scared of her conservative family. She decided to participate without informing anyone. Everyone appreciated her performance. Here a boy named Ramiz took her photos. She told him clearly to stay away from her. When she returned home, she hid her shield and drawer so that no one in family knows. The second story involves a family celebrating their son Denial's wedding to his cousin Gaidi. Denial is a young lawyer who has recently graduated from London and is extremely fearless, confident, brave, and honest. Asfandiar is Denial's younger brother, who will soon leave for Karachi to complete his medical studies after his brother's wedding. Asfandiar is a lively person and quite ambitious as well. The family maintains a significant reputation in the community. Asfandiar is engaged to his other cousin Ferial. Both are happy as they liked each other from childhood. Zobia is followed by Ramiz, although Ramiz is shown as a charming and persistent man who shows interest in Zobia. He is from a well-off family, and at first, he appears to be someone who genuinely cares about her. He gifted mobile phone to Zobia and asked to remain in contact with him. Zobia hesitantly attends his call and gradually gets attached to him, without realizing his true intentions. She wanted to get married to Ramiz. Ramiz told Zobia that it is not possible as her parents will never allow, but there is only possibility that they can have court marriage. Later she can inform her family, though Zobia knows it is a big step, but she believes that it is the only way to get rid from the family and start a new life by taking a risk. As planned Zobia, instead of going to college, she went with Ramiz to buy her wedding dress and went to Ramiz's house. There Zobia asked about other family members. He told her that they are on the way soon. Zobia was a bit scared, but she believed in Ramiz. Ramiz was not a good person. His intentions were evil. He mixed something in juice to give Zobia. Zobia finally understood his intentions, and she pushed him and rushed to the main door. Here she bumped into Asfandiar. Asfandiar and Ramiz had arguments where Ramiz told that she is his girlfriend, where Zobia clearly told him that she is innocent and she was trapped by him. Fortunately, Zobia was saved. Her identity card fell off. Asfandiar took it and asked Zobia to not go alone by herself. He assured that he is the good guy, and he only wants her to drop her home safely. On the way, he told Zobia not to trust anyone other than her family members, as people are cruel and they will only hurt her. On the other hand, Zobia's Bobby made a scene by saying that Zobia has left home with someone. Her father didn't believe her, so she showed the messages of Zobia and Ramiz. Her father was heartbroken, though he was very strict, but he loved his daughter unconditionally. When Zobia reached home, she was mistreated by her brother and Bobby. Brother wanted to kill her, but she was saved by her father. That day, Zobia learned a very big lesson, and she asked for forgiveness. She wanted to continue her studies and promised her father that she will remain on right path no matter what. Zobia's father realized that he was very brutal to his wife, and in past, Zobia's grandmother cursed him by saying that he will be punished by God for his wrongdoing one day. Finally, Zobia got permission to continue her studies. Here in college, everyone hates her; even her friends do not want to hang out with her. Zobia remained firm and started focusing on her studies, as she knew it is the only way to be successful. Asfandiar and Ferial are going to restaurant. While they were talking, waiter accidentally dropped the soup on her bag. Ferial got angry and started insulting him by saying that he ruined her expensive bag. 
A Spaniard tried to stop her and asked her to remain calm as it is not big deal, but Ferial is materialistic girl. She has not feelings for poor people around. Denial wanted to work on a complicated case. Everyone in family asked him to stay away from the political parties as they are hidden criminals. Daniel has studied in London, so he has no idea of Pakistan's situations. His wife was conceiving she was also worried for Denial as he getting death threats. While working in office, some people came to meet Denial. They told him that they tried to stop him several times, but it seems like he is not interested in his own life. They killed him with the gun and wrote a suicidal note on computer as if he has taken his own life. Asfandiar's family was completely broken to hear a sudden death of denial, especially Gaidi. The most painful thing was that the murder was shown as a suicide, so eventually people believed that denial was guilt-ridden for some wrongdoings. Thus, he took his life. Feral came to meet Asfandiar. In those moments, Asfandiar needs someone's support. But it turned out that Ferial wanted to call off engagement. The only reason was their reputation has declined in society because of denial suicide. Asfandiar couldn't believe that even his own relatives will believe the lie and leave them in their tough moments. Few months later, Gaidi gave birth to a baby boy, though it was something to be celebrated. But everyone cried as they all missed Danielle the most on this day. Asfandiar decided to go to USA for higher studies. His mother was worried, but he assured her that everything will be fine. He will come to visit her every year. On the other hand, Zobia was studying MBBS. She totally changed herself and made boundaries. One day, her classmate offered her a ride as she was waiting. She harshly denied the offer as she memorized her bad experience and past. Zobia's father got a serious accident. When Zobia and her brother reached in hospital, they got to know that their father has been paralyzed. It was getting even harder for Zobia as father was the only person she had trust, and he is now in critical condition. Zobia spent her most of time with father. Father felt guilty for his actions, and now he has been burdened on Zobia instead of her strength. Asfandiar's family has moved to a beautiful mountainous area where Gaidi's son Saram is grown up boy. Asfandiar's father loved playing with him and spent most of his time with Saram, as he is the only ray of hope in their empty life. Asfandiar has finally finished his higher studies. Now he has returned to his country to establish a new hospital for the city. Zobia's brother doesn't talk to her even after so many years. One day, his son got sick. Zobia came and gave him medicine, as she has no grudges against anyone. Zobia is financially stable and having good job in hospital. Zobia didn't realize that life will show her one more big turn after her father's death. She started missing him, but she knew that her brother and Bobby will not tolerate her anymore. Especially, her Bobby made a scene where her brother blamed Zobia for her bad character. Bobby threw her things and asked to leave house at midnight. Zobia's brother also believed his wife and didn't stop them. Zobia has no choice; thus, she left Karachi and reached Peshawar to her kala. From there, she was searching for a new job. Asfandiar has returned to Pakistan and started working in a new hospital. As he had interviews for new staff, he met with Zobia after so many years. Although both of them were changed because of their situations, thus they both didn't recognize each other. Luckily, Zobia finally got a job, and she was staying in a hostel room. Here, people were friendly. Zobia couldn't sleep at night, thus she woke up late. As she reached hospital, Asfandiar harshly asked to be punctual. Asfandiar was not any more friendly. He was very strict to his staff, though he was friendly with patients. He always taunted Zobia for her work. She usually mimics, but couldn't say anything to him as he was the boss. Zobia tried her best, but every time she is scolded for her minute mistakes. Gaidi's son is now five years old. She came to the park where she saw Zobia, and after little chit chat, they became really good friends. Gaidi invited Zobia to her house, where she met with Asfandiar's mother. She liked Zobia a lot. As Asfandiar came from hospital, they both were surprised to see each other. Zobia was worried that Asfandiar might think that she intentionally built terms with her family, thus she got angry with Gaidi for hiding the truth. But Gaidi said she was scared to lose her, as after so many years, she made a good friend. 
Guidi told Zobia about Espandiar's past as he is not a bad person, but situations made him that way. Hospital had announced a free camp for patients, which was a successful. Espandiar appreciated everyone's efforts. Zobia was inspired by his speech after understanding his situation. She found him polite and kind-natured. While going back to hospital, one person came and asked for help as his wife was in labor pain. Asfandiar and Zobia went there and found that her wife's condition is critical, so they called for an ambulance. But due to weather conditions, it was not possible. He asked Zobia to take this case as he believes she can do it. Zobia was a bit hesitant, but seeing Asfandiar's confidence, she helped the lady to deliver baby without surgery. Asfandiar was proud and appreciated her efforts. When they were served tea, it accidentally falls on Zobia's clothes, on which a girl was scolded by her father. But Zobia asked the man not to scold her, as her dress is not expensive than her daughter's emotions. These kind words remind Asfandiar about Feriel that how she responded harshly to waiter. Asfandiar didn't realize that when he started having feelings for Zobia. At every gathering, Asfandiar's eyes looked for Zobia. They hardly talked to each other, but silence seemed to connect them more than words. When Gaidi's son got hurt, Zobia urgently reached there and helped him. Here she got closer to Asfandiar's family. Everyone liked her by heart. Zobia missed being with family, but she felt comfort and love in Asfandiar's home. One day, Feriel returned from Canada as her marriage didn't last longer. She apologized to Asfandiar. Zobia got jealous when she saw Asfandiar and Feriel together, as Gaidi already told her about their past. Asfandiar noticed discomfort in Zobia's eyes. Asfandiar was looking to his old boxes and found an identity card of Zobia, which remind him the time back five years when he helped Zobia. This made him more surprised, and Zobia's respect increases in his heart after knowing what she has been through in past and how she made herself stronger and better person. Zobia was invited to Gaidi's son birthday party. She refused to come, but Gaidi insisted in way that she couldn't deny. Asfandiar was genuinely happy to see Zobia. After so many years, he played his guitar and sang a beautiful song. His family was so much happy to see him back to his life. Asfandiar got courage to propose Zobia. Thought Zobia loved him unconditionally, but she was afraid of her past and his rection after knowing the truth. She denied him by saying that she is not enough worthy of him. He can have a much better life partner. While searching something on laptop, she found Asfandiar's old photos, and that remind her that he is none other than kind person who rescued her from Ramiz. This made her so much furious that if people in hospital find it out, then everyone will hate her. She feared Asfandiar's reaction as she started liking him. Thus, she went to Cliff and jumped from there to end her life. Asfandiar saved her and scolded her for being childish. He told her that he has nothing to do with her past. He truly loves her and never want to lose her. He has already seen so many hurdles in life, and Zobia is the only person that make his heart alive. Moral: Life is neither perfect nor easy, but life is good. Perseverance, determination, and good intentions will prepare you to grab any opportunity life has to offer. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate your comments if you let me know about today's recap, and do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the video.